And I, I like to frame it with this question. What is required to consider something alive? Well, often sort of the first question is something that, that requires that there's actually a structure. So for example, a body or a cell. So we can draw some sort of uh, structure here. And then when you have a structure, something like this, you have an inside and an outside. One of the purposes of the structure is to keep the living parts of the cell on the inside, to keep them together, to help them help them function. And so what are some of those functions? So they can include things uh, like getting energy. A cell or organism needs energy um, to be able to grow and reproduce. Right? This energy, if it's going to grow, it means that it's creating more uh, biomass and that takes chemical reactions and chemical reactions take energy to constrain. Um, there's an increase in entropy or disorder generally in an environment, but something that's alive has this structure. So it actually has to be able to resist that entropy by uh, expending energy. So we call this energy metabolism. So we get our energy from eating organic molecules and reacting it with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. And we have all these enzymes within us that capture that energy for use to build our cells and the cells are also reproducing. Right. That reproduction requires basically a recipe for how the structure or cells can um, uh, perform their metabolism, extract that energy. So basically this recipe is what we call inheritance. And for us, that's our, our genetic material and how it's arranged and the chemical um, environment around that. Right? So basically, for something to be alive, we, can, we have to have a structure that can harvest energy to grow and reproduce, and the instructions for doing so need to be passed on. One of the key things is for this energy and metabolism and the chemical structures um, uh, to keep working properly is that it, the inside of the cell needs to be a fairly consistent environment. The environment changes um, through time. And this, this, the wall or structure that separates the life from the environment helps the organism keep this consistent uh, chemistry. And it can be things like, uh, for larger organisms, things like temperature. We have a body temperature. And, and this consistency is called homeostasis. So homeo is same and stasis is state. So a lot of times organisms keep a consistent chemistry within the cell and sometimes they can't do that and or they don't have enough energy for metabolism and when the these properties break down you actually have a death as part of the cell. When the requirements for life are not met um, the organism dies. So we can we can take these um, ideas and, and make it more of, of a list of things that are needed. 
So I'm going to annotate this with the, the word people normally use. Structure is one of the key aspects. The internally consistent environment is this homeostasis. The harvesting of energy is metabolism. And the reproduction and the inheritance are words that people normally use. So what we have is, is five properties. Structure, homeostasis, metabolism, reproduction, and inheritance. And those are what makes something alive. Thanks for watching.